In this video, we're going to be covering starter projects with Foundation. In particular, we're going to look at the CSS version of Foundation, which is the quickest way to get started. So if we go to foundation.zurb.com, get this big download Foundation 6 button here. So we're going to go ahead and click that. And you see that you have a few options for downloading. So you can download the complete version here. And this will give you a CSS file, JavaScript, and uh, HTML index page, which we'll go over here in a little bit. But this has all the components that Foundation comes with. If you would like a lighter weight version that you're only going to use for a, maybe a simple one page, uh, then you might use the essential layout, which comes with the grid, buttons, reveal, and interchange only. And then you can also choose a custom version. So if you know what components you're not going to need ahead of time, you can make a really lightweight or customized version of Foundation right here. This is also where you can choose a flex grid version with the CSS uh, right here. So you can unclick any of these things that you may not need in your project, and then you would hit the download custom build button here. There's also other settings that you can customize. So if you want, let's say 24 columns instead of 12, you can choose that there. You can change the global gutter or the that's the padding on the columns. You can also change the max width of the rows and the color palette, body font color, header font color, and global radius. You can even set it up for right to left. So lots of options here. We're going to go ahead and download the standard full version. So this will tell you what version you have right here in the file name. So we're going to go ahead and unzip that. And let's open this up with our code editor. So I'll show you around what you get in this starter project. So you get a CSS folder a JavaScript folder, and an index.html page. So in your CSS folder, we have an app.css file, a foundation.css file, and a foundation.min.css file. So let's break it down here. Your foundation CSS file, this is actually what's linked up in your pages by default. This has all the CSS that comes with foundation. And so if you want to find out what a default is for any component, let's say title bar, you can search for that and then find all the default uh, CSS for that component. And from there, if you wanted to change something, we included an app.css file. So app just stands for application. This is pretty standard naming. And this is your custom CSS file where you're going to put your custom styles. So if you were going to edit something from the Foundation's CSS that comes with Foundation, it's best to go ahead and edit that in your custom CSS file. It is included after the Foundation CSS, so it will overwrite it. And then you also get this foundation.min.css file. This is your minified uh, version of the CSS. That means all the white space has been taken out. And when you're ready to uh, upload your website and get it uh, published, this is the file that you should link because it's a smaller file size. So that will speed up loading. Then you also have a JavaScript file, so a JS. And there's an app.js file. This is where you would put your custom JavaScript. So you can see that foundation is initialized here. And then any of your custom jQuery or JavaScript can go in this page as well. And then in your vendor folder, this is where you have some of the default JavaScript files that ship with Foundation. So foundation.js is your unminified production level uh, JavaScript. This has all the JavaScript of Foundation in one file. And this is also what is um, linked up by default. So you get an unminified version in case you want to look through some of the options that come with Foundation. Then you also have a minified version, Uglified. 
And this has all the white space taken out, and this is what you would, again, use for production. Of course, it also comes with jQuery, which is a dependency at foundation. Um, so most websites use jQuery, so it's included here. And uh, what input is also included, this is an accessibility uh, JavaScript plugin that basically hides the blue border around elements until a keyboard is used. So another really handy one to have. So let's jump into the index.html page. This is basically the home page of your website and it comes with some boilerplate. So you see that you have your HTML5 doc type, you have your HTML tag, and then you have your head section of the website. And you will also see some links up here. These are your CSS files. So as you can see here, that uh, foundation.css is being loaded in here. Again, when you're ready for production, then you would switch that to min.css. And then you also have your app.css file imported here. And if you were importing other style sheets, you would just uh, link them in here. You can see inside the body tags there's a bunch of information. This is uh, what comes with the default uh, project just to kind of show you around foundation. And then down here at the bottom you have your closing script tags. These are JavaScript files. You want them loaded right before the closing body tag. Uh, and that's better for performance. So if we right click and click open in browser, uh, you can see what this page looks like. And when you start to make edits, and then you save, you refresh this page, and then you'll see your edits. So obviously, first thing you're probably going to do is get rid of all of this stuff right here in between the body tags. And now this is where your custom pages will begin.